Welcome back to the channel where we live life, live free, and live our dreams. When I first started to consider retirement, I was nervous and concerned. I knew my income for retirement would be reduced, possibly by 50% or even more. The problem was I needed all that I was earning at the time just to keep a roof over my head, clothes on my back, and food on the table. When I sat down with my financial planner, and told him my intentions to retire soon. He tried hard not to break out laughing, but he failed. Sitting at his desk, he turned on a second monitor so I could watch what he was doing. Then he went to work on his laptop, calculating my net worth and what I would need to have invested to keep living the lifestyle I was currently living. Once he was finished, he looked at me with a concerned look and informed me that I would be flat broke in about eight years if I wanted to retire especially financially. I had to make some big changes in my life. I was making low six figures for an income. This was above average for my area. And my lifestyle, which matched my income, showed it. I was the type of person where the more money I made, the more I spent. I was also continuously upgrading materialistic things, such as my cell phone, personal accessories, cars, and even my home. I was never satisfied with what I had. I always wanted more. I always had to have the latest and greatest because I told myself I needed them. After selling my business and closed the door for the final time, I walked away from the rat race, the corporate world, and the greed mindset of never being satisfied with what you have. And I never looked back. It was one of the best feelings I had ever had. It's been over six years now. I still have no regrets. And I consider this one of the best decisions I have ever made. I am living the life that I always wanted to live. For me to do this walk of freedom, I put together an action plan and implemented several things within my life before taking this walk to happiness, which were, get my finances under control. To do this, I adopted a strict approach to tracking my finances and eliminated all duplicate and wasteful spending. I tracked every penny coming in and out of the household and where it was spent when it came to making a purchase. I held myself accountable by asking myself if this was a want or a need. Create a budget and stick to it, no matter what. I am a numbers person. When I streamlined my finances, I figured out how much money I needed to live. Then I broke this amount down to per month and per week. Once the budget was created, I stuck to it with no exceptions. I will admit I did have to make several adjustments to the budget before I finalized it, downsized my lifestyle, and spending habits I was living by myself when I started this transition. I didn't see the need to live in a home with 2,400 skid of living space where I used less than 20%. So I sold it and paid cash for another more practical place. Doing this eliminated my mortgage completely and drastically reduced the utility and property taxes and the cost of upkeep and maintenance. Just by doing this, my cash flow tremendously increased. I also stopped going to restaurants numerous times a week and I gave myself a weekly spending allowance, Reevaluated my wants and needs in life. As there is a big difference, I wanted a nice big house, but didn't need it when something more practical would suit my needs. The house was a showpiece to impress. As nice as it was, it wasn't a home to me. I wanted a sports car, but I didn't need it. The sports car was no longer practical and never was what I required from a vehicle, but it was fun. I sold the sports car and kept my SUV. This was the new mindset I developed when I reevaluated my life in the direction I wanted life to go. I differentiated between wants and needs. Start living within my means, or better yet, just below them. If I didn't have the cash at the time, I didn't do the activity or purchase the item unless it was an emergency. I removed all the impulse spending by limiting what accounts I could access on my ATM bank card. It also taught me how to budget my money properly and make a given amount last become 100% debt-free, and stay that way. If I was making a payment on something, I eliminated it. This meant credit cards, vehicles, personal loans, and even the mortgage. I made it a condition that I had to be debt-free to do my walk of freedom. I became 100% debt-free three months after starting this journey when I sold my home and purchased something smaller and better suited to my needs with cash. Changed my mindset of not always wanting the latest. And greatest, I had the mindset of, he who dies with the most wins. I changed my mindset to, 
He who dies with the best memories truly is the winner in this game called life. When I first started on this journey of freedom, I was chasing the American dream and trying to get the approval of people I didn't even know with the things I owned. I wanted to be that guy. Then I started asking myself with every purchase I made, is this a want or a need? I will be honest. There were times when I did purchase some wants after all. No matter what you do, you still need to live life and have some enjoyment. And I did, but I never went into debt for it. Remove the word greed from my vocabulary and mindset. Doing this also changed my outlook on life and my desire to always want more and to never be satisfied with what I already have. I see this as part of the problem when you chase after the American dream that I interpreted as being all you can be and never being satisfied with what you have and always shooting for the stars and never settling. Why be happy with what you worked hard for when you can always get more? Me, I just wanted my freedom and I achieved it. And finally, create a side hustle that would generate a passive income. I still put in the same number of working hours per week, 50 to 60, but I stopped working overtime at my business and only put in a 40 hour work week. I started investing the extra hours that I now had into investigating various side hustles. I then took this newfound knowledge and started building a passive income stream that I could take with me no matter where I lived, even internationally. I thought my business would suffer slightly due to lessening my workload. It didn't. My side hustle of choice is content creation, which developed into content repurposing. Though I don't make a lot of money from this side hustle in comparison to what others make. This is due to me now prioritizing life over work. The things I implemented, I will admit that they are not for everyone, nor will they work for everyone, but they worked for me. And yes, when I did all this, I had nobody to answer to but myself, which made this transition easier. I took the risk and walked away from it all, and the risk paid off for me. I lead a simple lifestyle of freedom where my new wife and I wake up thinking about things we want to do and not what we have to do. We lead a simple life where we reside in a small beachside community in the Philippines. This has been my dream since I watched a TV episode of National Geographic that featured the Philippines when I was 14. This is how I went from working full-time to a very casual part-time schedule and only working when we wanted to. I credit doing a huge lifestyle and mindset change for me to be able to do this. You don't need a large sum of money in the bank to have financial freedom. It all comes down to your choices. I chose to live a simpler lifestyle, live within my means, and not always having the best of the best and the latest fad item. I also chose happiness and making memories over work and wealth. I chose to create a passive income stream to supplement my income. Also, retirement is a mindset because when you love what you do, that creates an income. You will never work another day in your life. Thanks for watching and remember to live life, live free, live your dreams.